Welcome back to my channel, Math School. In today's video, let us solve question number 15 from exercise 12.1, chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry. In my previous videos, I've completed the introduction, examples 1 to 7 and questions 1 to 14 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. Now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 15 from exercise 12.1, chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry says, a straight highway leads to the foot of a tower. A man standing at the top of the tower observes a car at an angle of depression of 30 degrees, which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed. Six seconds later, the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degrees. Find the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this Point. So here the questions are a little bit tricky now. So let us understand the question line by line and let us draw the figure first. So here in the question they have given us a straight highway leads to the foot of a tower. So let us first draw a straight highway. So let us name this tower as AB. There is a man who is standing on the top of this tower. The man is standing here and he observes a car at an angle of depression of 30 degree. So let us take a point C where there is a car and this man observes this car from this point B. Right. So we will draw the horizontal line first to draw the angle of depression. Now we will draw the angle of depression to this car as the man is observing this from this point B to be 30 degrees. So which is approaching the foot of the tower with a uniform speed. Okay, so the speed of the car is same where the car is moving with the uniform speed. So six seconds later, the angle of depression of the car is found to be 60 degree. So within six seconds, the car moves to this point D. And now the angle of depression is found to be 60 degree. So the time taken for the car to travel from this point C to point D is 6 seconds. So we have to find out the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point. So from this point D we have to find out the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower A. We have to find out the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower from this point D. Right, so here again you can observe that since angle of depressions are coming into picture, we have to apply the alternate angle property. So there is a Z formation here. So this 30 degree angle is equal to the 30 degree angle here because of the alternate angle property. Similarly, again a Z formation due to which the 60 degree angle at B is equal to the 60 de degree angle at D because of the alternate angle property right so let us take the height of the tower to be h meter because they have not given us the height of the tower here so let it be h meters so let us write down let a b be the height of the tower which is h meters so therefore since they have given us the time taken by the car to travel from point c to point d as t second so therefore distance is equal to speed into time this is the formula we are using that is distance is equal to speed into time and also in the question they have mentioned that the speed of the car is uniform so let us consider the speed of the car to be v meters per second let the speed of the car be v meters per second since we don't know the speed of the car we are assuming it to be v meters per second as it is uniform throughout from point c to point a okay so cd is equal to that is the distance cd is equal to what is the speed we are considering it is v into time given is how much six seconds so it is b into six so cd will be six v or v six similarly the time taken to travel from point D to point A, distance DA is equal to the speed will be remain same that is V and the time we don't know here which we have to find out. So let us take it as T. Okay, so the distance traveled from point D to A will be VT. We have to find out the time here. So let us now consider a triangle ABD first. And then we will consider triangle ABC 
to apply the trigonometric ratios and we will find out the time taken by the car to travel from point D to point A. So in triangle ABD, so here we know that ABD is a right angle triangle with an acute angle of 60 degrees. So side opposite the acute angle is the perpendicular and the side along is base. So we know the perpendicular value which is H meter and the base value which is VT. So what is perpendicular by base given by, so for that we will write down the fraction first. That is PBP divided by HHB. So perpendicular by base is equal to tan theta so applying tan theta in this triangle we get tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base where our perpendicular is AB and base is AD and a theta value is equal to 60 degree so tan 60 is equal to AB is H meter divided by AD is V into Right, so what is 60 degree tan 60 from a trigonometric table? Tan 60 is root 3. So root 3 is equal to h divided by vt or h is equal to root 3 into vt. We will take this as equation number 1. Now similarly let us consider a triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, Again, we, we know the AB value. So, let us find out the AC value by applying the trigonometric ratio tan theta. Okay, so tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base where a perpendicular is AB and base is now AC. And a theta value now is how much? 30 degree, right? So, tan 30 is equal to AB is H meter divided by AC. AC is what? Here AC is equal to CD plus AD. So it is CD plus AD where our CD value is 6V plus AD is VT. So we will write AC as equal to 6V plus VT. So tan 30 according to our trigonometric table is 1 by root 3. So 1 by root 3 is equal to H divided by AC is 6v plus vt. Now here we know from the equation 1 h value is root 3 into vt which we are going to substitute here. So substituting h from equation 1. So we have 1 by root 3 is equal to h is root 3 into vt divided by 6v plus vt. So let us cross multiply here so we get 6v plus vt is equal to root 3 into root 3 vt right so 6v so this will be 6v plus vt is equal to root 3 into root 3 is 3 so we get 3vt or sending this vt to right hand side we get 6v is equal to 3vt minus vt so 3vt minus vt will be 2vt so 6v is equal to 2vt now since we have to find out the value of t so we will send this 2v to left hand side so this comes in the denominator so 6v divided by 2v is equal to t so v and v will get cancelled to 1 times 2 3 times so therefore we get t as equal to 3 seconds right so this is what we had to find out the t value that is the time taken by the car to travel from point d to the foot of the tower a right so therefore you can write down the time taken by the car to reach the foot of the tower is 3 seconds okay so this is how we solve this question number 15 if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section in my next video, I'll be solving question number 16 from exercise 12.1, chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC and cert math. And also do watch the related videos of chapter 12, some applications of trigonometry shown on the screen. Thank you.